is Lyle and today I'm going to be reading Pig the Fibber by Anne Blady. Pig was a pug and I'm sorry to say he would often tell lies just to get his own way. And when he would fib he was awfully clever and when Pig got in trouble he would always blame Trevor. You see, he could mess up the living room mat. And then he'd just point and say, Trevor did that. Or he'd shatter a beautiful vase full of flowers. And then he'd say, Trevor's been crazy for hours. He once even ripped up a lovely old dress. Then he hid behind Trevor and made him confess. Why do you do this? asked poor little Trevor. I thought we were friends. But Pig said, whatever. Then came the day of Pig's sneakiest plan. He said, I will steal all the treats that I can. They keep them up there, in the closet up high. But before I get them, I need a good lie. And with that, he blew off. It was stinky and grim. Then he pointed at Trevor and said it was him. So Trevor was taken outside for some air. This was Pig's chance and he climbed on a chair. Those treats will be mine and I'll gobble them all. But behind all those treats was an old bowling ball. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig has stopped lying. Hip hip, hooray. He may have some bruises and one less front tooth. But he sure learned his lesson. And that is the truth. Thank you.